Hello viewers, welcome to this video. So, alright, so I think um, uh, you're all enjoying this uh, Glossrefer series. In the previous video, we saw how to extend a volume or how to shrink a volume by adding additional bricks or removing bricks from your existing volume. And this video is about how you can restrict access to your volumes. Say for example, you want your volumes to be accessed or your volumes to be mounted only from specific IPs or specific network um, and you don't want uh, to expose it to everyone, right? So we've got few uh, things that we can do. We can allow and we can restrict based on IP address or based on the uh, DNS name. Okay, so that's what we'll be seeing in this video and uh, um, I've got my uh, setup ready. It's the same as my all my previous setup, Gluster 1, Gluster 2, two node storage pool. And I've got my uh, client machine here. And I've got my uh, host machine here with three Linux containers, Gluster 1, Gluster 2, and Gluster Client, all our CentOS 7 machine. So let's quickly create a volume and uh, we can look at how we can allow IP address or how we can restrict IP address, okay? Gluster volume list. We don't have any volumes. Let's create a simple volume. Gluster volume create volume one. Name of the volume and it's going to be a distributed volume on Gluster one colon Gluster slash break one and also another break on Gluster two Gluster ash break one and I'm going to force it. So that's created. Gluster volume list. We have one volume. Gluster volume status. It's not started. Gluster volume start volume one. So that's started. Gluster volume info. So we have our gluster. We have our volume that's started and we have two bricks. Okay. So at the moment, we don't have any. IP restrictions it's open to public so anybody can connect to this volume so I would like to show you another command Gluster volume get command um, Gluster volume get name of the volume volume one and you can set options to a volume okay so Gluster volume get volume one it's auth dot allow so at the moment auth dot allow authentication so allow is set to star so anybody can access this volume so similarly there is auth dot restrict and uh, sorry auth dot reject auth dot reject and it's not actually set anything so we are not rejecting any connections but we are allowing all the connections okay all right so if you want to look at all the options that are set for your volume you can run this command the gluster volume get name of the volume volume one um, we saw the previous command if you want to get a particular property particular option and see what values has been set auth dot allow so we saw that but if you want to look at all the options you can specify all and pipe that to less and here are the list of options that are set for this uh, volume. So if I go down, there are lots of volumes that you can uh, enable or disable. And we've got here auth.allow and auth.reject. So at the moment, everything is allowed and we're not rejecting anything. Okay, so let's try and mount this from our client machine. Make the slash MNT volume one. So it's already there. Don't worry about it. And mount minus T Gluster FS Gluster one colon volume one. That's the name of the volume that we are about to mount. And I'm going to mount it under volume one. Okay, so mount grip for volume. So we've got that mounted and I'm going to unmount it slash mnt volume one and if i do mount grep for volume so we've completely unmounted it okay so that's good so that means we verified that we can mount uh, this volume from our gluster client machine so now i want to set a restriction saying that i shouldn't be able to mount from my gluster client machine i need to whitelist it sorry i need to blacklist it so for that, what you're going to do is Gluster volume set 
name of the volume volume one and the property that we are going to alter or change which is auth dot restrict and I'm going to restrict the IP address of that uh, Gluster client machine so Gluster client is 10.146.100.16 it can be either IP address and if I copy that and paste it here so I'm basically blocking or restricting access uh, any access coming from this IP so any machine with this IP won't be able to mount this volume from our GlustreFS storage pool so the format is you can add multiple IP address for example 16 17 and so on you can add multiple IP address or you can uh, use wildcard so anything that starts with 10.146.star.star .star .star .star, uh, shouldn't be allowed and so on or you can use the DNS name Gluster client okay let's add this one auth restrict does not exist sorry I keep using auth restrict it's auth dot reject auth dot reject okay so volume set is success so now if I do Gluster volume get name of the volume and the property is auth dot reject so auth.reject is set to Gluster client so we won't be able to mount it from Gluster client and if I do Gluster volume get volume one all and if I grab for auth dot so you can see here auth dot allow is set to star so any client can access our volume mount volume except Gluster client which we have explicitly specified in the auth dot reject so now if we try and mount this from our Gluster client machine we shouldn't be able to mount this volume uh, to verify that we can look at the log file in any of the um, Gluster okay um, so if I look into var log Gluster FS so we have all these different types of logs that is gluster d dot log that's the main gluster d process um, we've got the bricks so for each brick there will be a, a volume sorry a log file so if i cd to bricks and there is this gluster brick one dot log i'm going to tail that file tail minus f gluster brick one dot log okay so I'm tailing that file I'm going to watch this file while I'm trying to mount this from the Gluster client machine and you will see the error message appearing here in the log file for that particular brick we are trying to mount okay let's try and mount it mount minus T Gluster FS Gluster 1 colon name of the volume is volume 1 mount it under volume 1 okay so mount minus t gluster fs gluster one colon volume one mount failed check the log file for more details so why the mount failed mount grep for volume so we don't have it mounted and if i go to the log file you can see here um gluster brick one rejected which is gluster dash client and it, we can also know the IP address of the machine that's trying to connect or trying to mount our volume which is 10.146.100.16 which is uh, this IP address the IP address of our client machine and we can also look at why it's failing to mount because uh, permission denied disconnecting shutting down the connection basically we have set auth.reject to Gluster client okay so that's the reason we are not able to mount the directory so that's how you restrict um, IP address so now our client machine can't mount this directory we've set the uh, rejection policy okay so now let's try and remove that Gluster volume reset name of the volume so we have three commands Gluster volume set to set any property and get to get any property and then reset reset just resets the property to what the default value is so the name of the volume is volume one and I'm going to reset the property auth dot reject. So that's successful. And if I do Gluster volume get volume one all grep for auth. So now we can see here auth.allow is star 
path dot reject is null so we're not rejecting any connections and if I again tail for that brick file and now if I try to mount it from my uh, Gluster client mount minus T Gluster FS so we can mount it now okay and mount grep for volume so that's mounted fine and in the log file you can see brick allowed equals star and the received IP address so accepted client from that's the ID of the uh, client what we are mounting Gluster brick one okay so cool uh, we can mount it and now I'm going to again unmount it you mount MNT volume one okay so that's gone all right so um, that's how you restrict um, authentication you can use IP address you can use DNS name you can use wildcard you can use multiple IP address separated by commas okay I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video hope you found this video useful if you've got any questions let me know I'll be happy to help and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will see you all in my next video bye bye